In this video, we're continuing on with our CUDA software free worksheet, Multiplying Polynomials. In this video, I'm going to do numbers 9 through 16. Before we get started, I want to point out a couple things to remember that we went over in the last video. When multiplying variables together, such as a times a, that is going to be a squared. a to the first times a to the first is equal to a squared. Also, I want to point out that when multiplying polynomials, each term of the first polynomial has to get multiplied to each term of the second polynomial. So number 9, the 6p has to be multiplied to 5p and multiplied to 8. This 8 in the first polynomial also has to be multiplied to 5p and multiplied to 8. Each term of one polynomial gets multiplied to each term of another polynomial. Luckily for us, these are binomials, so we can remember FOIL as a trick for making sure we multiply every term together. What FOIL is, is saying first, outside, inside, last. So you're multiplying the first terms together, then you're multiplying the outside terms together, the inside terms together, and then the last terms of the polynomial together. So FOIL is just a helpful acronym, but if you forget, each term of one polynomial gets multiplied to each term of the other. So starting with the first terms, we're multiplying 6p by 5p, and then we're going to do the outside terms. However, when subtracting a positive, you can think of it as adding a negative. That way, all your operations are addition in between. So 6p times 5p plus 6p times negative 8 plus 8 times 5p plus 8 times negative 8. 6p times 5p, 6 times 5 is 30, and p times p is p squared. So this will be 30p squared plus 6p times negative 8 is going to give us negative 48p plus 8 times 5p is going to give us a positive 40p plus 8 times negative 8 is negative 64. Now we're going to have to combine our like terms which there are two of them in this new polynomial, negative 48p and a positive 40p. So rewriting the 30p squared, we're going to add a negative 8p, since negative 48p plus 40p equals negative 8. However, adding a negative is the same as subtracting that positive. So we're going to subtract 8p, and then, as opposed to adding negative 64, let's go ahead and subtract the positive 64. So our answer for number 9 is 30p squared minus 8p minus 64. On to number 10. First, outside, inside, last. And again, this is preference, so if you want to leave them as subtraction, just remember that when writing everything out, you're going to have to take into, into account that some of those terms are not added, but subtracted. But if I just switch it in the beginning, I can add all my terms. So 3m minus 1 is now 3m plus negative 1. So first term, 3m times 8m. Outside term, 3m times 7. Inside term, I'm adding negative 1 times 8m, and then again I'm adding negative 1 times 7. 3m times 8m, 3 times 8 is 24, m times m is m squared, so 24m squared, plus 3m times 7 is 21m, plus negative 1 times 8m is negative 8m, plus negative 1 times 7 is negative 7. Now we're going to combine the like terms. 21m plus negative 8m is going to be a positive 13m. So I'm going to have 24m squared plus 13m 
And then as opposed to adding a negative 7, I'm going to subtract a positive 7. 24m squared plus 13m minus 7. In number 11, I'm going to switch the signs of 1 and 5 so that I can add as opposed to subtract. So I'm going to add negative 1 and add a negative 5. Multiplying the first terms, 2a times 8a, then I'm going to add the multiplication between 2a and negative 5, which are my outside terms, and then I'm going to add the inside terms multiplied together, negative 1 times 8a, and then I'm going to add the last terms multiplied together, negative 1 times negative 5. 2a times 8a is going to be 16a squared. 2a times negative 5 is negative 10a. Negative 1 times 8a is negative 8a. Negative 1 times negative 5 is going to be a positive 5. Combining the like terms, negative 10a and negative 8a, we're going to get 16a squared plus a negative 18a, but as opposed to adding that negative 18a, I'm going to subtract the positive 18a and then add 5. 16a squared minus 18a plus 5 is the solution when multiplying 2a minus 1 times 8a minus 5. First, outside, inside, last. 5n times 5n, and then switch this to adding the negative. So now I'm going to add 5n times negative 5, and then I'm going to add 6 times 5n, and then I'm going to add 6 times negative 5. 5n times 5n is 25n squared, plus 5n times negative 5 is negative 25n, plus 6 times 5n is 30n, plus 6 times negative 5 is negative 30. Combining the like terms, we'll get negative 25n plus 30n, which is a positive 5n. So we're going to have 25n squared plus a positive 5n, and then we're adding the negative 30, so let's subtract 30. And that's the solution for number 12. Number 13 says 4p minus 1 squared. But remember that squaring is the same as multiplying whatever that base is, which in this case is 4p minus 1 to itself. Think of it as this. Let's say we had a squared. We know that a squared is a times a. In this case, we have 4p minus 1 squared, so we can rewrite that as 4p minus 1 times itself, 4p minus 1. And then it's what we've been doing all along. We're going to FOIL. But before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to addition. So 4p plus a negative 1 and 4p plus a negative 1. So first, outside, inside, last. 4p times 4p, 4p times negative 1, negative 1 times 4p, and then negative 1 times negative 1. 4p times 4p plus 4p times negative 1 plus negative 1 times 4p plus negative 1 times negative 1. 4p times 4p, 16p squared. 4p times negative 1, negative 4p. Negative 1 times 4p is also negative 4p. And then negative 1 times negative 1 is a positive 1. We have to combine the like terms and simplify. So our final answer is going to be 16p squared plus negative 4p plus negative 4p, which is plus negative 8p. So we're going to subtract 8p and then we're going to add 1. Moving on to number 14, remember first, outside, inside, last, 
and I'm going to switch everything to addition. So first is 7x times 5x, that's going to give me 35x squared. Next I'm going to add the outside terms, 7x times 6, 7 times 6 is 42, so I'm going to have 42x. And then I'm going to add the inside terms, negative 6 times 5x, which is negative 30x. And then I'm going to add the last terms, negative 6 and 6, which is negative 36. Combining like terms, I'm going to say 35x squared plus a positive 12x, since 42x plus negative 30x is the same as 42x minus 30x, which is 12x, and then I'm going to subtract 36. So number 14, 35x squared plus 12x minus 36 is the answer. And number 15, I'm switching the second polynomial, 6n minus 4, to be 6n plus negative 4 so that I have everything in terms of addition. Then I'm going to FOIL first terms, 6n times 6n plus the outside terms, 6n times negative 4 plus the inside terms, 3 times 6n plus the last terms, 3 times negative 4. Go ahead and work out the multiplication. 6n times 6n is 36n squared. 6n times negative 4 is negative 24n. 3 times 6n is 18n. 3 times 4 is negative 12. Combining the like terms in our final answer, as we simplify, we're going to get 36n squared plus we have negative 24 plus 18n which will result in a negative 6n. So as opposed to adding negative 6, we're going to just subtract a positive 6n. And then as opposed to adding negative 12, we're going to subtract 12. 36n squared minus 6n minus 12. And finally, our last problem in this video, number 16. Before I go over the answer to number 16, please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. All likes and subscriptions are greatly appreciated. So now that you've hopefully done that, let's go over the answer to number 16. Again, I like everything in terms of addition, so I'm going to change 6n minus 3 to be 6n plus a negative 3. And then I'm going to FOIL. First, outside, inside, last. 8n times 6n, taking care of my first terms. Outside terms, 8n times negative 3. Taking care of my inside terms, 1 times 6n. And then finally my last terms, 1 times negative 3. And remember, this is addition between each of the terms because I changed everything to addition in the original. So 8n times 6n is 48n squared plus 8n times negative 3 is going to be negative 24n plus 1 times 6n is 6n, plus 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. Combining like terms, we can combine negative 24n and a positive 6n to get a negative 18n. So in my final solution, I'm going to have 48n squared minus 18n, since adding a negative is the same as subtracting the positive, and then I'm going to subtract 3. 48n squared minus 18n minus 3 is the solution in number 16. Join me in the next video where I'll finish out the multiplying polynomials free CUDA software worksheet.